Okay, now we go to subtraction. Subtraction is a little bit tricky, but if we are to recall our grade 1 math, our elementary math, then uh, subtraction of number system is actually easy. Okay, so recall. Recall our basic mathematics, which is subtraction. So, let's have decimal 100 minus 97. Okay. So, it's actually 3. How did we get 3? Actually. Now, if we are to elaborate this uh, operation, that would be 100... 100 minus 97 okay so 0 minus 7 is actually so called cannot be can't be because 0 is higher than that of 7 okay so what should we do we borrow from our neighbor here but it's it's a 0 now this one will borrow from its neighbor now that neighbor will become 0 this is supposedly this one this one is supposedly 10 but take note this fellow here borrowed one unit now this one will become 9 and this one will become 10 okay how did this happen? Because we are dealing with decimal. So, a unit in decimal is actually 10 in value. So, instead na magiging, uh, instead of uh, uh, borrowing one unit, that one unit is equivalent, equivalent to 10. Now, we can perform so-called subtraction so 10 minus 7 is actually 3 then 9 minus 9 is actually 0 then bring down 0 so it's the same 3 okay another more more, more detail so 172 minus uh, let's say 97 oh, okay, 97 so we have this one now 2 this one 2 minus 7 cannot be performed 2 minus 7 cannot be performed so what should we do we borrow from the neighbor so this will become 6 and this will become 10 plus 2, which is equivalent to 12. Okay? So now, it's already 12. If not, uh, it's already 12. The value of this one is already 12. We borrowed one unit, and that one unit is equivalent to 10. So 12 minus 7, 12 minus 7 is actually now we go to the next digit so 6 minus 9 cannot be performed so what should we do again we borrow so this will become 0 and this will become 10 plus 16 which is equivalent to 16 now 16 minus 9 is actually 7 okay and we just bring down 0 and that's already the value that is elementary subtraction why am I discussing this one because it's related to binary subtraction okay
It's actually binary subtraction. Okay. So, let's recall the rules in subtraction of binary. Rules. So, 0 minus 0 is actually 0. 1 minus 0 is actually 1. 1 minus 1 is actually 0. But 0 minus 1 is actually 1 borrowed 1. I will explain this rule using example. So, example number 1. Number 1. Okay, so, we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, base of 2, minus 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, 1. Okay. So, we perform. 1 minus 1 is actually 0. That's easy. Now, we have here 0 minus 1. So, it became 1 borrowed 1. Now, take note of the process. So, this value will borrow from here. But this value has to digit or it's 0. So, we borrow from here. Now, it's still 0. We borrow from here. So, this will become 0. Okay, take note. Huh? This will become 0. This, supposedly, take nota, we are in the base of 2. It should become 2. Okay? But its neighbor borrowed this one. This neighbor, this neighbor borrowed a digit. So, this will become 2 and this will become 1. But this digit borrowed, so this will become 2 and this will become 1. Okay. Now we can perform the subtraction. So 2 minus 1, that is actually 1. So that is how we get 1 bar 1. Now we have this 1, it's already the value which is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, then bring down 0. And that's it. Another example, example number 2. So we have 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, base of 2, minus 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, base of 2. Okay, so zero, is, 0 minus 0 is easy. But take note, this one. 0 minus 1 is, uh, or cannot be performed, this one. Okay, so what should we do? Again, we borrow. So we borrow here, but it has a digit of 0. So this one will borrow here. Now this will become 0 and this will become 2. But take note, this digit has borrowed. So this will become 1 and this will become 2. Okay, so 2 minus 1, that is actually 1. Okay? And 1 minus 1, that is 0. Then 0 minus 0, 0. Then again, we have here, same process. So this will borrow in here. And... Because this is 0, this will borrow here. So this will become 0, this will become 1, and this will become 2. Again, I repeat, this became 1. This became 1. This became 1 because we borrowed in here. So we borrowed here. So that is actually 2 minus 1, that is 1. And 1 minus 1 is 0. Again, we have a value of 0 in here. What should we do? 0 minus 1 is cannot be. So, we borrowed here. This will become 0. This will become 2. So, 2 minus 1 is actually 1. Now, so the digit 
digit would become 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, base of 2. And that's the answer. Okay, another example. Sample number 3. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So, 0 minus 1 is cannot be. So, this one will become 2. This one will become 0. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. Now, the, this one became 0. So, 0 minus 1 is cannot be. So, this will borrow here. This one will become 0. And this digit will become 2. So, 2 minus 1, that's already 1. 0 minus 0, that's already 0. 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, then 1, in the base of 2, and that's it. The same process apply for octal and hexadecimal, okay? So, in octal, so the borrowed value would be 8. In hexadecimal, the borrowed value would be 16. Okay, so let's try. So 1A BC minus EFF. F. This is in the base of 16. This is hexa. This is hexadecimal. So C minus F, and I'll write the different digits a is 10 b is 11 c is 12 d is 13 e is 14 and f is 15 so c minus f is cannot be performed because that is 12 minus 15 so we borrow from its neighbor 11 B is actually 11. Minus 1, it will become 10. So, it will become A. Now, this one, that would be 16 plus 12. So, it's actually 28 minus 15. Okay? So, 28 minus 15, that is 13. So, 13 is equivalent to D. Now, A minus F or 10 minus 15 is cannot be. So, this one would become 9 because it's already 10. A is 10. Then, this will become 10. This will become 10 plus 16. Okay. I repeat, this will become 10, which is A plus 16 the borrowed digit so 26 minus f or 26 minus 15 that would be actually eleven so eleven is b so that's it now nine minus e or nine minus fourteen is cannot be so this will become zero this will become 16 plus 9. So this will become 0 and this will become 16 plus 9. So that is 25 minus 14. That would be actually 11. Okay. Ah, 11. Sorry. 25. Plus 14. So 10. Okay, so it's 11. So it should be 11. Then this is B. So the value is B, B, D. With octal, as I told you, so octal, the value to be added or to be borrowed should be equivalent to the base, which is 8. So, 7, 1, 7, 6, 0, minus 6, 5, 4. Okay? So, 0 minus 4 is cannot be. So, this will become 5. 
this will become 8. So 8 minus 4 is 4, then 5 minus 5 is 0, then 7 minus 6 is 1, then 1, then that is in the base of 8. And that's it. And that ends this tutorial for today. Thank you.